when I was in secondary school, I was actually interested very much in literature, but I was also very much interested in mathematics. And my teacher in mathematics, I liked him very much. Actually, I, don't, I think it's about the only one I liked and I was in the secondary school. But, um, uh, and uh, so uh, I had a very good relation with him and uh, I was not a bad student. And uh, so he pushed me to uh, enter Polytechnic School for engineering. Well, this was because also partly because engineering in Belgium requires an entrance examination, which is very hard. Actually, it replaces, if you wish, the diploma of secondary school. You don't have to do secondary school if you succeed that exam. So, uh, and uh, so he prepared me for that exam and things. So I, did, so I was an engineer. Now, being an engineer, I realized that I don't want to be an engineer. So, and, uh, but I was an engineer. So that gave me, uh, I realized by being an engineer that, uh, that what interests me is not so much the application of things, but the way they really function. So that's why I got interested in physics, in research, and in fundamental physics. And so after having engineer, I got sufficient money because I could, uh, I had a job at the university and I studied physics afterwards and then have my PhD and then went to the United States and met Robert Braut with whom I collaborated a lot. And so that's in a short hand the story. <laughs>